Hey everyone, what's going on? Brett here with Simple Preparedness. Got a little piece of gear for you here today. Um, I thought I'd check this out. A little backstory. Um, for a while, I've been debating on putting a pry bar in my EDC bag or perhaps one of my other bags. But I've been thinking about it a lot and I went through my tools. I had an old pig's foot in there. That thing is beat to death. And I got to thinking, well, maybe I'll go grab another one. And while I was cruising through, I came across this. And uh, I see there's kind of a trend or something going on now. People are buying these little EDC pry bars, probably about that long. Everything has its use, I guess. Um, I can't think of anything that I would use a little two inch or three inch pry bar for. I wanted something a little bigger. But if I'm gonna put that extra weight in my bag, I want it to do more than one thing. I don't just want a heavy pry bar and that's all it is. So we went with this. And just to let you know, I didn't pay full price for this. Um, I had some gift card money left. I ended up spending $3 for this. So I figure, why not? What we have here is the Reaper Versa Tac Pry Bar. And I went with this because of the multiple uses, plus it looks pretty interesting to me. It is, I'm reading off the back here real quick. It's 420 stainless steel, four inch powder coated wrinkle finish blade, multi-function pry bar with chisel, blade, ripper hook, and wrench. Sizes 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 16 millimeter. Has an ABS non-slip handle, 1680D ballistic sheath. It's 10 inches overall with a five inch handle. It has a limited lifetime warranty. <sighs> Made in China. Oh well. Let's get this bugger open. Uh, maybe. Man, these things are harder to get into than anything else. But I thought I'd try this one out. Like I said, I wanted something with multiple uses. Let's do it this way, guys. I wanted something with multiple uses, not just one thing, you know, in my bag for one purpose. Good Lord. There we go. All right. So here's the, uh, here's a little sheath that comes with it. It does have little belt hoop has a little clip lock it in there this is actually pretty light but uh there it is man the reaper pry bar you know pulling nails you got your wrenches you got your rip knife it is flattened on the end. I don't know if you can see that or not. Not sharp at all, it's flattened. That blade on there. Good lord. You could almost shave with that thing. That is sharp. But I thought I'd try this. It's that is a nice comfortable handle. Like I said, I want to give this a shot. 
multiple uses, pry bar, nail puller, wrench, knife, chisel, wedge, whatever you want to call it, ripper hook. I want to give it a shot. See how it fits in here in our little sheath. Maybe. Guess it doesn't go that way. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. Not quite sure which way it goes in there. We'll figure it out though. But there it is, man. Just a quick video on the uh, Reaper pry bar. Hmm. There it goes. Sorry. Just the way it is with an unboxing, you know. So that hooks right on there pretty good. We're going to give it a shot, guys. Uh, like I said, quick video. I wanted something multi-purpose. I really can't see having one of those little tiny pry bars. Something like that, I can probably get behind. So uh, there we go, guys. Uh, quick video. I'll put a link down below if anyone's interested in it. Um, I will be testing this out, kind of goofing off with it a little bit see what it's capable of but it's I thought it'd be a lot heavier than it is that is nice and light so that's not gonna that's not gonna have a, add a whole lot of nothing to my bag so there we go guys the uh, Reaper pry bar as always guys if you like the videos please subscribe like drop a comment Man, I enjoy talking with y'all. And as always, be safe, be prepared. We'll holler at you later, guys. Bye.